Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative Team, and today I'm excited to share with you some product that's in the annual catalog. So I want to share with you this stamp set, Stellar Birthday, so cute, and this die set. This is the Give It a Whirl dies. So these are really fun. This is a um, die set that you can build and make a spinny card. I'll show you what I mean by that. These aren't actually bundled in the catalog, but they coordinate super well. And I can't wait to play with this Give It A World die set a little bit more and use some different stamp sets with it. So maybe I'll have to do another video later on and show a few other ideas with it because it is so fun and I think the possibilities are just endless. They are, it's so cute. So what you can do is you can build a card using these pieces. So like this, and then this spins in here and it has a window and you can see the different things that spin. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I have already pre-cut out what I need to make this spinning card. So I cut this Pacific point with this bigger piece. And then out of that, I cut the little window and this is really cool. You can line right up with the hole that's already cut so you know exactly where to place your window there. Okay. And then on a whisper white piece, I cut out my little circular piece and it also cuts a little hole in the middle. So it does all of the hard work for you, this die set. It's pretty cool. So I've already cut that out on my die cutting machine. Now let me show you how to um, put this all together. So I'm going to use this Stellar Birthday set and I'm going to stamp three different images on my little round piece here that I'm going to use as the spinner part of my card. So I'm just gonna use Memento because this is a great set to color. Using Stampin' Blends, I will color the images. Um, but you can see, and I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this on the video, but when you run this through on the die cutting machine, it does give kind of a little impression. So you have three separate sections here on your little white circle that you've cut out. So you know exactly where to stamp your three different images to um, line up perfectly in your window. So I'm going to stamp, I'm going to start with these little planets. And stamp those in one of the sections. And then look how cute this little dog is with his bone. So cute. So I'm just gonna rotate this and this is how it's going to look on the card. So I can place that right in that little section, just like that. And then I'll rotate it again and stamp my little rocket spaceship in that third spot just like that, okay? And then before I would put it together, I would color these all, but I'm gonna show you how to do it before I show you the finished product with it all colored. So we have these round and square brads that are in the catalog. These are great um, to use to build this card. So I'm just going to choose one of these. I'm gonna choose one of the little black ones, how about? And we're just going to line those two holes right up and I'll put my bread through just like that and just like that I have a little spinner card and you can see my little images in that window okay so cute right so let me show you the finished card that I made using this product here it is, so you can see I added one of the cute little space boy, have a stellar birthday, and then I colored all of my little images. How cute for a cute little boy in your life that's having a birthday, right? I love this. Not only this stamp set, but this whole die idea 
with the give it a whirl die. So much fun and I feel like you can do so much with it. So I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. Um, I would love to see what ideas you guys have come up with. If you've used the give it a whirl die, I want to see all the different ideas that you've done. So make sure to tag us if you're on Instagram, tag us at Stampin' Jill. Make sure to share on Facebook or to share here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.